welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video that I've never done before. I've seen them all over YouTube and I really enjoy them. So I thought I would make my own video for you to enjoy. So today's video is meet my pets all in one video. I do get comments asking, what other pets do you have? Or can I see this pet or this pet? So today they're gonna to be all in one video. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you'll get notified of my upcoming videos. And stay tuned, because my video is coming up in a moment. So my first pet is going to be my smallest furry pet. <laughs> and this is Jules. She is 11 months old. She's a Syrian long-haired hamster. And although she looks white and she has red eyes, she's not albino. She is, according to her breeder, is an extreme cinnamon dilute. Ain't she pretty? She's very, very pretty. And she's very um, you know, tame. She doesn't bite because the breeder did a good job handling her as a baby. All right, so that's my hamster, Jules. And this is my rabbit, Daisy. I've had her for five years this month, actually probably next week. Now she was found outside. So basically I just said she was one year old. So I say that she's six, but she could be older than, than six. I, I really don't know. I found her outside. Someone dumped her in the park, of course, along with other bunnies. I do have a playlist of all my rabbits. You can go check that out. I'll put the link down below. And um, she's a nice bunny, really nice bunny. She's white with black markings, little black ears. And she has like a black stripe across like looks like her eyebrows <laughs> it's really cute and her eyes they're blue on the bottom and brown on the top and uh yeah she she's a really good bunny hey sweetheart you're a good bunny she's a little bit shy she likes to just be with my other bunny more than than me but um i love her anyways so this is daisy and this is my other rabbit clover the clover's going to be five next month and Clover actually was born in my house. He was born from another rabbit that I found um, dumped outside. So Clover was born, he was very sick. So of course I couldn't find a home for him because who would want a sick bunny? And I, obviously I got attached to him and had to bring him to the vet. So I said, he's a keeper. So this is Clover. He's a male bunny. He's all white and he's got blue eyes and he's a very nice bunny. He's, he's very um, calm and very, very nice. He prefers to be a bunny too, but he, he likes to be petted and, and he comes to me sometimes. But um, yeah, this is my bunny Clover. Clover, say hello. No, he's not gonna say hello. <laughs> now this is my standard poodle. This is Oasis. He's seven years old, he's a male. He's neutered. You know, he likes to go for walks and run in the field. And his favorite thing to do actually is barking, right? Yeah. He barks, he talks a lot. He barks, you know, to go outside, to come inside, to eat, to go to sleep, to do this. He barks at the door. Oh, he even barks when we take him on walks. He barks at other dogs all the time. Oh, it drives me crazy sometimes. But I love you, yes I do. So this is Oasis, my standard poodle, seven-year-old male. Now this is Illusion. She is my female spade, black standard poodle. She is eight years old. And she loves going to the park and for walks and in the car. And she likes to chase little animals outside like a squirrel and a rat. Where's the rat? Hmm, where's the squirrel? Yeah, we're gonna go outside soon and get that, okay? So that's Illusion. She's uh, eight years old, a female spade standard poodle. So this is Indy. He's uh, 10 years old, a male, neutered male. And he's a standard poodle as well. Now some people don't understand because he's too colored, but he's called a party colored poodle. We just call him party, party standard poodles, but it's more or less party colored poodle because they have two colors. He's, he, was, he was black and white when he was um, a puppy, but he turned blue, what we consider blue, to be blue because he's not pure black anymore. Some of them stay black, some turn blue, and some turn silver. So he does have a little bit of silver, but it's considered uh, blue because of, of the coloring. Come here, Andy. I'll show you his markings in a bit. But um, he's my uh, oldest dog. 
So this is Indy. I'll show you all three of them playing together and that way you can see his markings and you can see how the other two uh, run around. And this is Rio. Rio is a female Indian ringneck parakeet or parrot. She is uh, seven years old. <laughs> she loves me, you can tell. Now she is uh, one of my biggest birds. She's big because look at her tail. But she, I consider her a bigger bird. She stays in my living room. Hi, sweetie. She loves me the most. She just she just loves me like a lot. Come on, sweetie. Okay. You wanna you wanna sit on my shoulder? Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so that's Rio. She oops, well there she goes. There she comes back. Okay, come on, silly. Anyways, I'll show you if she'll look closer up. Isn't she beautiful? Come on, Rio. You can see she's fully flighted. She's pretty healthy. She has no health problems. Hi baby, I've had her since she was uh, a baby, since she was weaned. I think it was about eight or ten weeks. Yeah, she just loves me. She doesn't talk. She does some whistling and she screams. Come here. She's actually my loudest bird. Really, really loud. I can hear her down the street with my windows closed. I can hear her like way over there and way over there. So if you ever want an Indian ring neck, take that into consideration because um, it's very high pitched and very, it's very loud. Believe me, it's very loud. Out of all my birds, my other birds are coming next. Anyway, she uh, likes to make a mess out of my hair. Come here, Sue. Oh, that a girl. She flies to me, as you can see. So this is Rio, an Indian ringneck parakeet, and she's seven years old. There you go. And this is my Senegal parrot. Her name is Electra and she's nine years old. Now this bird likes my husband more than she likes me. So I don't pick her up or anything. I can give her little treats. I'm giving her a walnut, little pieces of walnut and almonds. She's happy when I feed her. <laughs> but she's, uh, she's really tame with my husband. And her loudness is not very, very loud. Like she's quiet compared to my ring neck that you saw just before this. She just makes these uh, screeching, like a screech, high pitched screeching, but not as loud as the ring neck. These birds are pretty, she's pretty quiet, I barely hear her. And she does say some words. She calls my dog Indy, and she says kiss kiss and other things. And she does whistles, she mimics the, like a, a, a pop can opening up and um, the alarm. Sometimes we think our fire alarm is going off, but it's her. I'm like, oh, it's only Electra. And she stays in my living room as well, separate from my ring neck, of course, because she would actually kill my ring neck. She doesn't like her at all. So we make sure we keep them separate and come out at separate times. Or she stays with my husband and real stays with me. Oh, there she goes. Okay, go sideways. Here, take this. Now you like me when I give you treats. Yeah, so that's Electra. She's nine years old. I think they are considered a, a one, um, person bird or one in sex like they either like males or they like females so when you do your research on getting a bird just make sure you find out about that and uh, because I really got her for myself <laughs> she doesn't like me so oh well well I got Rio she likes me all right so that's Electra my Senegal parrot she's a female and she's nine years old you can eat that take a bite and these are my two cockatiels. This one's Monty, oh, <laughs> and this one's Stormy. Now they're both males. Why are you biting? That's not very nice. Monty is 13 and Stormy is 11. You wanna step up? Oh, good boy, there we go. So Monty I got from somebody who couldn't care for him anymore. I got him when he was one year old. Stormy, hi sweetie. I got him from a pet store many years ago, right? When you were just a baby too. So this one is um, Monty. He's uh, a normal 
colored a cockatiel, norm, normal gray. Come on, hop. And Stormy here is called a pied. That's just the mutations. Now the normal, these are the kind that you see in the wild, the nor or the color, sorry, the normal color in the wild is gray. You won't really see any pied or any other colors in the wild. And actually all the pet cockatiels, you've seen a lot of mutation. The gray is kind of rare because everybody wants different colors. Oh, he sings a song too. He can sing a song from The Sound of Music. I have a video of him like 10 years ago. I'll put the link below. You can go have a look. I know you want to bite me. You can't bite me on camera. No. So these are my cockatiels. And these are my rosy bork parakeets. They're pink. Aren't they beautiful? Now these are both males. And this one's raspberry. And this one's rosy. Now rosy is 10 years old. And raspberry is, I believe, two years old. And they were hand fed and hand raised as babies. That's why they're tame sitting on my finger. And they're so beautiful. Hey, sweetie, you want to go on the perch? There we go. There we go. Yes. So those are my two male rosy bork parakeets. And these are my other two rosy borks. These ones are the females. They're both around two years old. Let's see, they almost look the same. No. This one has blue on her tail, if you can see. This is uh, Roxy and this is Rosita. I got them both from other people who couldn't care for them anymore. And I got them, I guess they were a year old, I had them about a year now. So these are the females that I have. And they're, they're tame too, but I find the males a little bit more tamer than the females. But Roxy, she's, she's more tame. She's a little bit more skittish. Hi sweeties. And they do land on me. Uh, she's a little bit harder to catch when I gotta put her in her cage, but eventually she'll step up to go in the cage. So these are my two female rosy forks. You wanna go, oh, bye. Come on, sweetie. So this is Dazzle, my Goldie's lorikeet. He's one of the smallest lorikeets. There is another one that's smaller than him, but he's, he's pretty small. He's a boy, he's four years old. He does talk. He likes to say, give me a kiss all the time. And he's, he's very comical, very funny, aren't you? Yes. And he's a nectar-eating bird. He eats nectar, wet nectar, dry nectar, fruits and vegetables. And since he eats the nectar, um, his droppings are very, very messy. The droppings are watery. So he's one of my messiest birds. So if you want a lorikeet, make sure that you don't mind the mess. He just uh, poops everywhere, like out of his cage on the walls, everywhere. So I use a lot of plastic. Oh, don't poop on my hair. That would be yucky. And he's considered a rare bird. They're really hard to find. I can't even find like, a girlfriend for him. I haven't seen them anywhere. So I did get him from a pet store. When, when they breed, come on, sweetie. Here he comes. When they breed, apparently they only have one or two eggs, if, if they're lucky. So that's why they're pretty rare. Hi, sweetie. Other than that, they're pretty active. They like to fly around. They squeak. They have, you can hear that squeak, squeak. So they're not really, really loud. They just have like a high pitched like squeak and they talk a lot. Are you going to talk? Give me a kiss. No, he's not going to do it for you today. Did you want a kiss? Maybe if I put him up there. Hey, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. No. Oh, he does say a few words. Give me a kiss is his favorite word. Then he makes the kissing sound. Come on, Dazzle. There we go. So that's it. So there's Dazzle, my Goldie's lorikeet. Show your face. Oh. And they're also called Little Watermelon Bird. Can see his markings? He looks like a watermelon. Here, go closer. See? And they got a red head. Red and purple head. And there you go. That's Dazzle. Oh, this is Sprinkles, my two-year-old male lovebird. He's a peach face. Ah! Lovebird. He's very tame because he was hand fed as a baby. And uh, he likes men and women and children. He likes all kinds of people. He's very, very friendly. I really like them. Now he doesn't, he doesn't make a lot of noise, but his call is just like a high pitched a squeak. And he does say a few words. He says, give me a kiss. And he makes the ouch and <laughs> the kissing sound. Are you nibbling on my skin? And he follows us around the house. He lands on us. He comes to us sometimes when we call him, but if he's busy doing something, he's not going to come. Right? Sweetie pie. Yes, you're a good boy. So this is Sprinkles, my male lovebird. You're a good boy. Mwah. And this is Merlin. He's a linny. 
or lineolated parakeet. He is 11 years old and he's a boy, of course. Hey, sweetie, he's, he's pretty old. And um, you can see the feathers on his head. They turn gray when they get older, a yellow or gray. That's why he's got the coloring on, on his, his head and his feathers are all messed up and everything. He's actually got enlarged nostrils because he got an infection in his nostril. If you want to see the video about that, I'll put the link in the description. You can go read about it. There is a name for it. Sorry, I can't remember at the moment, but I do have a video of his uh, vet visit. You can go have a look at that. Hi, sweetie. Now, he was hand um, fed as a baby. I got him from a breeder. Why step up? And he can talk. He can say a few words. Favorite word is me, monster. One try? Me, monster. No. He says, me, monster. And he'll growl. And he'll say, um, hi, buddy. Give me a kiss. And up, and, and little words like that. He mimics little whistles. He sounds like my cockatiel sometimes. Hey, but he's getting an old, old baby. Oh, you're an old baby. <laughs> so yeah, their average life actually is, is about 10 years old. So being 11 is, is pretty good. And I hope you have a few, few more years inside you, huh? Yes, I know, you're a good boy. So that's, uh, oh look, he's gonna kiss my finger. So this is Merlin. 11 years old, he's a, he's a linny or a linolated parakeet, linolated parakeet, they say in different ways. They're also called a Catherine's parakeet or a barred parakeet, and they make nice little pets. Okay, there he is. There's Merlin. And this is Nugget, another linny. He's cream colored, he has red eyes, and he's going to be 10 in a few weeks. Now he has some arthritis in his feet and he has eye trouble, he has glaucoma in the left eye and he's actually blind in that eye and the other eye you can see out of but not uh, very good but uh, he's still a happy boy he talks he he chirps he eats he does all kinds of things I let him walk around the floor because he can't really fly very good he'll bang into things because he, he can't um, see where he's going so this is Nugget he'll be 10 in a few weeks isn't he cute and this is Pickles my other Linny Pickles is a female she's eight years old she's green and uh, green is the color you would see uh, the linnies in the wild. All the other colors are mutations. Uh, and Pickles is not as friendly as the other linnies. She will step up and she's a really good talker. She's my loudest talker. And uh, she prefers to be a bird. She's a little bit, little bit skittish, but she'll step up and everything. Hey, sweetie. So that's, that's Pickles. And these are my two budgies. Come here, baby. This one's Sterling, he's one and a half, he's a male, and this is Splash, he's one and a half, actually they're brothers, they were born on the same day, so they're exactly one and a half years old um, today, I believe, and uh, they, they step up, they're, they're kind of tame, they're not like the tamest budgies, but they do step up, and he says some words, he, he talks a little bit, he can mimic my cockatiel, and these are half English budgie and half regular budgie. Their father was an English budgie and their mother was a regular budgie. You can see the size difference. So I do have other budgies that I'm going to be showing you, but um, they won't step up or anything. So I'm going to take you to my bird room. It's going to be noisy in there. I'm going to show you the rest of my flock. Okay, so here's my other budgies. There's five of them in here. They're all males. Four of them are English budgies and one's a regular budgie. Now the white one you see on the top right corner, that's my regular size budgie. He's actually missing a foot. You can kind of see it right now, but I don't want to go too close because they're all afraid. And the yellow one there up on the right, that's Treasure. He is the father of Splash and Sterling. He's a double spangle English budgie. He's not Lutino. His eyes are black. Well, this is Ocean. He's a gray spangle budgie. He's four and River is four. So these two I got together, River and Ocean. And Benny, the one at the back there, the green one, that's Benny and Treasure, I got them together. So they're three years old. So they're three, four, and six years old. And these are my budgies. And they're not tame. They don't step up on me or anything like that. They fly around daily and they know when it's time to go back in their cage. And uh, they, they come close to me, but they don't step up. So there's my budgies. And this is Snowball, my white color canary. He's a male, he's about one and a half. Where'd you go? There he is. And he's a really good singer. 
And this is Sherbert. He's a male, a mosaic, a canary. He's three years old. And he sings really beautiful. Isn't he gorgeous? And this is Song. She's a female, uh, she's six months old, and she's uh, Sherbert's baby. She looks just like Sherbert. And this is one of my bettas. His name is Jupiter. And this is Pluto, my Dumbo Half Moon Betta. I actually adopted him from a pet store because he had swim bladder and they couldn't put him for sale, of course. So uh, the girl that worked there knew me uh, that I liked bettas and had them and asked if I would take the betta and try to get him back to health. And of course I did and he recovered and I got him his own five gallon aquarium and he seems pretty happy he looks pretty healthy it's a gorgeous boy so this is Pluto and these are my five tetras there's four Pristilla tetras and one silver tip tetra I've had these tetras for about six years or maybe longer I also have two dwarf quarry cats there's one of them just eating the algae on the back. I've had them for about six or seven years as well. And these are my pea puffers. I have six of them. So those were my 44 pets. I hope you enjoyed my video. Let me know which pet was your favorite. And let me know if you want to see more of a certain pet and I'll try to make the video. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I want to thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.